so let me tell you guys what just happened to me i have an appointment to get a gel manicure and pedicure at a local salon i walk in my water's ready they're waiting for me i put my feet in the water and just as i do that a lady walks in she says i would like to get a pedicure they tell her we only have two workers she has an appointment you need to come back the lady says no I can't come back so I look over and next thing you know they're running her water and then I see that they start her service so I said to the manager um what happened to my appointment do I not have an appointment now because she decided she wanted to get a pedicure the manager says to me oh you just need to be patient so I can feel myself rising. I could feel myself getting angry. So I just had to decide in that moment, how do I want to respond? Because they've made a choice, right? The lady, the Caucasian lady made a choice when she said, no, I'm not leaving. They responded by making a corresponding choice of doing her service and telling me I just needed to be patient. So it was at that moment that my scheduled two services became less valuable than her one unscheduled service. And the reason why, in addition to the poor service that I received today, now let me just tell you guys what I did. I took the towel that was under my, that was on my little pedicure station. I said to myself, you don't have to be treated this way. I grabbed that towel, I dried my feet, and I walked out. The manager didn't say anything. She didn't try to stop me. She didn't apologize. It was what it was. I want you to understand this. When we say that we experience differential treatment on a daily, it's not an exaggeration. And additionally, this is how situations that could be small turn into big situations because had I got so angry and acted out of character, then I would have been the angry black woman who needs to get control. But it was okay to everyone in the shop, to the lady who refused to wait, to the lady who was the manager of the shop, to the lady and her husband who were waiting, it was okay. Everything was okay. So I want you to know that until these kind of things stop being okay, it's going to always be a problem. This Black Lives Matter thing is getting a lot of news right now, but it's been a problem. And it's a problem everywhere that we go. And it's a problem more times than not. So until things like this stop being okay, the problem is not going to go away. I was the customer with the appointment. I should have rightfully gotten the service. She should have had to wait. She should have had to walk out. But she didn't. They were fine with losing my business. They didn't care how it made me feel. I was invaluable. That is a problem.